Welcome to the SB Grid Consortium's client installer for command line interface. This is a quick start tutorial on how to download, install, and activate the SB Grid installer. It will allow you to install SB Grid software on your own laptop or a local desktop workstation. We'll begin at the SB Grid website, sbgrid.org. If you scroll down a bit on the right hand side you'll see a button for a software installer and if we click on that we will go to the wiki for the SB Grid installation client. Uh, there are two versions the graphical installation client and a command line installation client. In this video we'll use the command line version so I'll click on that link on the right hand side Full details are listed in this wiki, but we will move through them quickly. And I scroll down to the binary releases and see a link to download the Macintosh version or the Linux version. Uh, both of these work in exactly the same way on a Mac or Linux. The commands are the same. Everything about them is in stay the same for the command line installer. In this case, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version of the installer. And when that downloads, I will uncompress it. It's a tar gzipped file. When I do, what I end up with is a single executable called sbgrid. I place that anywhere I like. Uh, you can move this to uh, any folder that you want on, on your machine. Uh, and first, I'm just going to run it with no arguments at all to see that I get the help screen for the installer. So this is the list of commands that are available to you. You can read through them afterwards. Today we're only going to use a few. The first is activate, uh, then we will install some software, and then we will remove some software. In order to activate this installer, you must first register at the SB Grid registration site. Uh, and there is a, a link to the registration page uh, on the wiki right here. Uh, if you scroll down under installation, it says SB Grid registration. This is a simple form with some basic information about you. You submit it and you will receive back an email that will include three pieces of information that you need to activate. So let's go ahead and try an SB Grid installer from my terminal. SB Grid activate. Since I gave it no arguments, I get the help back and it is expecting a site uh, name, a username, and a key. So I've received my registration email already and saved that information in a file on my desktop. Quite a few of them. It looks like this. Uh, the first term, SB Grid Production, is a site name for me. Your site name will be based on your institution, something like BCH Production, HMS Production, things like that. Uh, the next is a username. That's a name that's assigned to you by SB Grid only for using this installation software. It's not used anywhere else. It's not a login ID. Uh, it has no other purpose other than to activate this software uh, and keep your installation distinct from other users. And then finally, this long string is the key, the activation key. So we need these three pieces of information. So I'm going to again type the activate command and give my username, my site name, my username, and the key. And when I do, you'll see I get the prompt, uh, the message that it's activating, and then a prompt for administrative password. You need to be an administrator of the machine you're installing on in order to create a directory under slash opt slash sbgrid and a link slash programs that points back to that sbgrid directory. You only need this administrative password during the initial installation. You don't need it uh, from here on out when you install software. So I'll type my password and it takes a minute to set this up. It's creating directories. It's downloading software from the SB Grid Consortium uh, and it's setting up a, a database to track things. We see that we get the activation message, the activation successful. That means our information was correct. And now it's finalizing uh, installation of the various files. This should only take about a minute, one minute to two minutes, maybe. 
if there's something wrong with your internet connection or things hang, uh, you can you can always delete uh, what was installed and start over. But ours finished, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is install software. That was the activate command. The only two commands we're going to learn here are install and uninstall. So I'll first type install with uh, no other uh, options to get the help screen. And I see that I need the list of a title uh, to install. I'm going to pick a title that I already know, uh, Sam Tools, uh, and choose to install that. Installation of different software titles can take a different amount of time depending on the size of the package. SAM Tools is fairly small. It should only take one to two minutes to install that completely. There are other packages available from SB Grid that are five or six gigabytes in size. And these will take quite some time to download depending on your network connection. Uh, once the software is downloaded, the very first title that you install takes a little bit longer um, to set up as the database that tracks the software is being configured. But still, this should only be a minute or two at the most. Once the installation is finished, you get a small message uh, and then you return to your prompt. And we see that SAM Tools version 1.10 has been installed. So we've installed SAM Tools. Now, how do we go about using it? Uh, to invoke the SB Grid environment, you must source uh, SHRC file. And this is the source command and the file slash programs slash sbgrid.shrc. You enter this command. Uh, let me clear the screen and start it again so it's clearer. Enter this command, source uh, programs sbgrid.shrc, and the sbgrid environment will be set up for the shell that you are in, only this shell, this terminal. And we can see that we get the sbgrid splash screen, which includes timely announcements. And at the bottom, we see that capsules are active. Uh, this is the sbgrid capsule environment. I'm just going to clear my screen again to make it less busy. Now that I'm in the SB Grid environment, all, in, all of the SB Grid software titles that I have installed are available and ready in my path uh, without me having to modify or edit my .bashrc file, change my own path environment variable, nothing. I don't need to do anything other than source the SB Grid file. I can test that now with SAM Tools, which we just installed, and I'll ask for the version of SAM Tools. And there it is. SAM Tools is in my path, and we see it's version 1.10, and that's the version that we just installed. And finally, uh, let's try to remove that in sof the software that we've installed. Uh, let's take a look at installed software. I give the SB Grid command installed to take a look at titles that I have installed on this machine already. I see there's only one, SAM Tools, version 1.10, and now I want to remove it. Uh, so let's just say I didn't remember what the command is. I will type the SB Grid with no arguments to have a look at the available commands once more. And I see install, which is what we just did, and then remove. And I can use either remove or uninstall. They both do the same thing. I'll clear my screen again. And so this time we will remove SAM tools. Again, this should be fairly quick, about a minute or so. The directory and all of the software for SAM tools is deleted from the file system. And then the database that manages installed software is updated. Uh, this only takes a second or two. And when it's done, I'm returned to the prompt. And let's just check installed software once more. And I see that nothing is installed. So finally, to get a list of all software that is available for you to install, I use the list command, sbgrid list. Uh, this will provide you a list of every SB Grid title. 
at the moment. Uh, there are many, and here they are. And the title name that you see here on the screen, uh, you'll note, is lowercase. They are all lowercase, uh, and some of them have names with a dash in them. Some don't. Uh, but the name as you see it in this list is the name that you need to use when installing software. Uh, for example, SAM Tools was listed as simply under uh, lowercase SAM Tools, one word, and that's how we installed it. And that's true of all software titles here. Phoenix Phases, Phoenix DivCon, so on and so forth. And so this ends the quick start uh, introduction to the command line installer.